Hi, I'm Vi Wickham, and this is a free fiddle lesson by MyTalentForge.com. This lesson is on the famous fiddle tune, the Orange Blossom Special. Now, the Orange Blossom Special is one of the most popular fiddle tunes of all time. Not among fiddlers, per se, but among audiences, without a doubt. I can't play a gig anywhere without getting a request for the Orange Blossom Special. Whether I'm playing strolling violin at a gala, or I am playing in a country band, somebody in the audience is going to request the Orange Blossom Special. Now, the Orange Blossom Special is a relatively difficult song, especially when you're playing it really quickly, which is how you're supposed to play it. Um, but it's not as hard as it sounds. It sounds absolutely amazing, and audiences just go nuts over it. So I'm going to break the tune down for you and give you a lesson on it. And if you really like this lesson, you should come check out the other lessons at MyTalentForge.com because there are some awesome tunes and great technique from some fantastic fiddlers. And there's lessons from me too. So um, this is the Orange Blossom Special. It starts in the key of E, it's a vamp on the key of E for as long as the fiddler wants to take it. So there are two, two common ways to start the vamp or to, to kick it off. We, um, the one I usually do is so that It is one of the common ways uh, that fiddlers will start it out. Um, there's also a singing part where they sing, Here she comes, here comes the Orange Blossom Special, and she's coming to take me away. And then the, the fiddler will come in with... So that E chord is kind of our home base in this in this section of the Orange Blossom Special. So you can do some little bluesy riffs like that. So I'm doing a D natural, which is a flat seven in the key of E. And I'm doing even a little slide into it from a C-sharp up to a D. So pretty much as long as you're playing over an E chord, anything is game in here as long as it sounds fun and sounds kind of train-like. I'll give you a few common riffs that you can try yourself. You can listen to or watch uh, you know, I've got a couple of videos on YouTube of me performing Orange Blossom Special. We may put a link to one of those here in the description of the video. Um, uh, but uh, these are a few ideas. So one of the things I like to do is a little uh, walk down. So, so, which is a D natural and a B. And just moving them down by a half step. So, repeat that again. And then I'll take it up an octave. Uh, 
Um, I'll, I'll play around with that little riff. So that bowing pattern I'm doing is, is a modified shuffle bowing. So you can really play around with those shuffling over an E chord and you know moving a little bit of chromatic motion in there for quite some time. Uh, then you can do some E arpeggios. Yeah. The E harmonics and other great landing plates. Notice I'm using D naturals to give it a bluesy kind of train sound uh, rather than using the D sharp, which is in the key of E, but would give us a, uh, you know, a major seven sound, which is not, it's more of like, not like the Orange Blossom Special. Um, so usually that first time, I'll keep my improving around the uh, that vamp to just a shuffle bow kind of situation, um, and then we have this little transition into the actual shuffling pattern. Now, if you want to work on shuffle bowing, I have a series of shuffle bowing lessons on mytalentforge.com that will take you from a simple shuffle all the way through the shuffle that we use for the Orange Blossom Special, the double shuffle, um, the triple shuffle, um, which is what I did. That's, that's the triple shuffle, but all the shuffle bowing lessons are covered on mytalentforge.com. So we go um, walk down into the shuffle bowing. So that is an E chord. So we're walking down from the E chord to an A chord, and we're actually, our second section is in the key of A. Now, if you're having trouble getting those double stops in tune, we have some great simple double stop exercises and lessons on MyTalentForge.com. Now, this isn't just a sales pitch for MyTalentForge.com. This is actually how you play Orange Blossom Special. So the first time I do it, I start out with a single shuffle. So that's that's a simple shuffle. We have down, down, up, down. So that fingering pattern we're going to use every time we play the shuffle bowing section. So we have we have a C sharp with an E. So C sharp third finger, high third finger on the G string with a first finger on the D string. And you can practice just that. Then the next is a fourth finger D natura. Now 
Now you really have to be careful that you're not touching the A string. So that you keep. So essentially, the Orange Blossom Special is a train song because the Orange Blossom Special was a train. So we started out really with a slower shuffle. This is how I do it. Some people start it off fast and keep it fast the whole time, but I like trains that start out slow and get faster as they go. And at the end, we're about to come off the rails we're going so fast. We're really pushing it to the edge of how fast can our rhythm players play. So we got 3-1, then we got 4-2. Then we do that same pattern on the D and the A string. So So G sharp and B. Now the second time I come back, so we're repeating that shuffle pattern, that same chord pattern, we're going to do a double shuffle, which is two. So one time through that pattern with the single shuffle and one time through that pattern with the double shuffle. So we have Now I find that Playing a little lower in the bow on those two shuffles is actually easier. Um, there's less motion up and down that I have to do with my right hand. Um, you want to really be conscious of your right hand. Keep it relaxed when you're doing this shuffle because as you get faster, you'll really wear yourself out, especially if you're not relaxed. So that's two times through that pattern takes us to the third section, which is... Uh, also in the key of A. So it's really important on this song that you use a down bow on every down beat. Otherwise, your bow arm will be an absolute mess. Down bow, down beat. So let's break that down a little bit. So there's two ways I play this pattern. That's the straightest version of it, which is just an A scale. Ending, so three times of that pattern. I like this pattern a little better, but it's a little trickier. I actually use those patterns interchangeably and I'll switch them, switch them up mid-tune. So I may throw in one or the other at any point. So you should get comfortable with both of those patterns. Second pattern. Go back and repeat that first pattern twice. 
Then we got a little ending. We walked out. Nope, we're going to keep it a G natural. And then we have our ending. That takes us right back into the E part. So that's, that's another pattern. Uh, sometimes the guitar will play it. Sometimes the fiddle can play it. You can do a little bit of uh, E harmonic there. I like to do... So that's just straight 16th notes. It gives us a sound of a train taken off. So um, each time I go through this tune, as I'm walking into the shuffle section, I will speed up the band. So. This is another section where you can push the tempo a little bit. I find that stomping my foot while to my speed while I'm speeding up helps the band stay with me. Keeping together with the band is really, 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 really important in this song because it has so many tempo changes and as you shift the tempo up and up and up, it's really easy for the band to totally fall apart. So don't let that happen. Be really clear about your direction of the speed. So I, I like to add a little... Um, a little There's a Place in France to it. There's a ton of riffs. I, I highly suggest you go listen to a bunch of different versions of uh, Orange Blossom Special of people playing it just to pick up uh, the riffs they do. You know, some people do... You know, a little slow arpeggio with a little... You know, you could do add some double stops to that. Um, I do a little slide up... Which, which always gives you the, the feeling of speeding up, even if you're not. But So that, that's the range. And, you know, really pulling that big slide down off of that really helps. And then we come back into the shuffle... Now this is the shuffle bowing that's most associated with the Orange Blossom Special. So we can do that with or without the extra notes. So that same fingering pattern applies. Um, we have low, low, high, 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 low, is the bowing pattern. And we do that once. Then for each fingering, we do that. 
then that's we can do that straight the first time through this but we're going to play this this fingering pattern twice so the second time let's add a new variation So I'm I'm putting So I'm adding that one two one two one two one two and then I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm adding a one on the A string. So it's going four two oh four two four. And then we're gonna do the same thing. That's stretching, so you've got fingers on three strings can be a little tough. Sometimes I end up, you know, really kind of pulling in close to the neck, which doesn't look good, but it's not, you know, it's just where my hand has to be to hit all three notes. Um, so that's two new variations on this shuffle bowing pattern. If you want sheet music to this, you're going to have to go to mytalentforge.com and subscribe to get the sheet music to this this variation of Orange Blossom Special. Um, all right, so here's um, let's let's go back then to um, the evamp. So uh, I'm sorry. We're not going back to the vamp. We got to get to the that last section. So there's a third way you can play it. So that's three ways we've got for that. And just swap them out in and out, in and out. So same, same general third part as the first time through. I'd just swap up that, that pattern. Um, but this song goes three times through. Three times through, I think, is kind of an optimal length for Orange Blossom Special. If you only do two times through, you really can't cover all the material you want to in the vamp without it becoming boring. Now, if you don't have that much uh, material in the vamp or you don't have that many variations on the shuffle bow, maybe twice is all you want to do. But you got to give the audience what they want and make them happy and excited. So we're going to come around the third time. So I like throwing in like some, some theme songs to, so, uh, to, TV shows people will recognize as one of my little gimmicks in Orange Blossom Special. So one of the ones that's pretty common to do is the Flintstones. So I never throw in too much because if you throw in too much, the audience will become bored with it because if I played the whole song of the Flintstones you know maybe maybe it'd be cool but I like to keep it short so that that's as much of a snippet of the Flintstones as I'd throw in um, I've been working on the railroads a perfect one you can now you got to get your rhythm people to change chords to an A So we got a little A chord in there if we do, I've been working on the railroad. Uh, another one that uh, I like to do uh, kind of as the last of these 
is is the Bonanza theme song because it's a country cowboy kind of tune and people still recognize it even though it's pretty old at this point. <laughs> This goes to a B chord. And I'm also stretching my my fourth finger up to get a D sharp there. You could You could also reach your first finger back for that if that's easier for you. Um but that's you know, you could do the Brady Bunch. There's a lot of other tunes you could work in there. Um, another thing I like to do, if you've got a guitar player who can play some rock and roll as well as country, you can throw, throw in Purple Haze. If you're going to do a little rock and roll, you got to uh, do some slide. If you play closer to the bridge, it'll give you that really kind of heavy metal rock and roll sound. You could throw gypsy eyes in there. I mean, you could you could do a little medley of uh, uh, Hendrix tunes. You can do the Mission Impossible things theme song. You can do James Bond. I mean, there it, the possibilities are endless. So you should make this song your own. You don't want to just copy the Vi Wickham Orange Blossom Special. You want to have your own version of Orange Blossom Special that's kind of your signature tune. So we we go through. We do a bunch of that kind of stuff. We have fun. We do do a few of the kind of things. And then we go. So I like to use this as my signal that I'm going to go into it. You know, having something that's your signal, you could You gotta have something that tells your rhythm, guys. All right, here's the time. We're going from the key of E to the key of A. So I'll give you uh, two more. Um, heck, I can give you four more different little variations on the shuffle pattern that you can do. Uh, this last time. So the idea is each time you go through it builds, it goes up a level, it's more difficult, it's fancier, it's faster. So you know we're building on multiple levels here, but we can do so instead of we have two one, two too sharp, so that that's extra trickier, and requires little. If you have big fat fingers like me, it's extra tough to get your second finger right under your third finger. So we're doing the same. Now, if you're just a touch out of tune, it goes by so fast that people might not notice. But you should really practice being in tune on those. So um, this is another shuffle option. Uh, so that's that's your like fourth or fifth shuffle option. This one is a va so here's another shuffle option. This is a Vassar Clements lick uh, that I actually learned from Eric Levine, who was my fiddle teacher when I was uh, about thirteen. Thank you. 
So. And then we repeat the same thing. It's really important you get back to the original double stop when you slide down. So practicing those double stops and the slides without the shuffle, you know, separating them, breaking them up, good idea. Definitely a, a thing to do. Um, so there's shuffle options. The other option is just to bow it out to do. So shuffle shuffle option number whatever. So uh, we do a little arpeggiated A thing. Which is a lot like what I did in Durham's Bowl. And let's give you one more final shuffle bowing option. third position and then we have three so two and one so E and A then three and then two across two's barred across which takes us to our last exit, which is... So let me give you another option on that. got to fit a lot of notes in. You can do triplets with just a one, two, four, two. So especially hard to do that because you're stuffing in twice as many notes in the same amount of time. So if you get going too fast, you may not be able to pull that one off. The last time through, I add a different ending. And then I throw in an, another ending. And there you go. There's your lesson on the Orange Blossom Special. If you need help with the shuffle bowing 
or with the double stop scales, check into mytalentforge.com. I promise you, you will love it. I'll see you next time.